Before I start this video, I wanted to do a disclaimer. I know that this is not the best Faraday cage you can get. It is a very basic level of protection. This is only going to be better than nothing. Um, so if your other option is nothing, if you don't have a Faraday cage, you haven't even thought of one, this is your best, next best step. What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do a quick video on a very cheap and easy to make prep that everyone should have. Anyone that's got electronic devices, which is all of us these days, needs to have this prep. Um, it's something that I don't think a lot of people think about, but uh, I see it, you know, whenever I watch a show like Doomsday Preppers, which I just kind of watch for amusement. Um, I don't think I'm as extreme as most of those people, but it, it would be a good idea to protect yourself uh, against electromagnetic pulses, and that seems to be a common theme on that show. People are worried about, um, you know, EMP pulses from nuclear warheads or from the sun or whatever. Now, there's a lot of debate out there whether a Faraday cage, which is what we're going to build today, will protect you against solar flare radiation, stuff like that. I personally don't think it will. It's not going to hurt, certainly, um, to, to have your electronic devices in a protected uh, place when you're storing them. So um, what this is, this is we're going to use maybe a dollar's worth of aluminum foil. Um, the thicker the better, but we're going to have to do multiple uh, layers with this stuff. This is just the normal stuff you can get at any grocery store. Uh, we're going to use some tape. This is double-sided tape, but single-sided tape will work. And then just your average everyday shoe box. Um, so what the idea of this is we're going to surround this box with a conductive material that will create a field around the contents that's inside this. Now, I'm not going to get into a technical explanation of this. Please do some research. I will actually post a link to a place where you can do some reading on this. But take my word for it. Uh, once we get done with this, um, anything you put inside here will be protected from um, radiation waves um, for the most part. So uh, good ideas for things to put in here would be this is a power inverter. Um, anything basically that has uh, electronic circuits would be fried if they were subject to an EMP pulse. So having a backup inverter in here would be a great idea. Um, things like battery chargers, you know, an extra battery charger to throw in here would be great. Um, I've got some, you know, just some extra diagnostic electrical equipment that I'm planning on throwing in there. Stuff like, um, you know, a flash drive or an extra hard drive or something like that where you've got, you know, family pictures stored or, or something as an extra backup can't hurt. So basically anything that's small enough that's got electronics. Now if you had a ham radio or if you had walkie talkies those would be great. Um, throw in a, an extra backup cell phone probably, you know, <laughs> that's debatable because uh, the, the, the cell phone towers will probably be down if, if something like this happens. but whatever you can find that's big enough to fit in here. So I think we've uh, belabored that point. Now let's go ahead and construct this. So all we're gonna do, I'm gonna actually use three layers on here, um, but we're just going to surround the outside with three layers of aluminum foil using the tape. And uh, I can't, I don't wanna really do, take up too much time on this video showing you how to do this because this is, any preschooler could do this, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so here is the completed product. Like I said, it's got three layers of aluminum foil on the outside. Now before we uh, get through, no, this does not need to be airtight. It does, you know, if it has small holes in it, somehow if it gets damaged, that doesn't mean that it's all of a sudden completely useless. Um, do the best you can, cover it as best you can, but it is not uh, need to be absolutely hole proof and air, you know, airtight. So as you can see, um, you don't need to do the inside, just do the outside um, and then tape it up good so that you don't shred it as you open and close it. 
and uh, that's pretty much it. It's just a little bit of cheap peace of mind for uh, less than two dollars worth of materials, maybe not even two dollars, maybe a buck. Um, you can at least have a basic level of protection. Thanks for watching, guys.